Speaking of Representative Scog, you know, look up the brief legislative bio of Representative Scog, and you'll see he was born in Pocatello. He graduated from the College of Southern Idaho and College of Law at the University of Idaho. He's an avid historian. He rides ATVs. Representative Scog once served on the city council in Nampa, where he's lived since 1992, and he is currently a practicing attorney there. What you won't get from that curtailed chronicle is that he's also a practicing comedian. Emphasis on practicing, as evidenced by this open mic audition from the House floor last year. I want you to know there's six dinosaurs that have been located in Idaho. And what about those other five dinosaurs? <laughs> Are we not picking winners and losers here? <laughs> I have it on good authority this little dinosaur is favored by the minority party. <laughs> and I favor the dinosaur to be more correct for the majority party, the big one, the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I have it on good authority the Paleontologist Society has given this a negative four. <laughs> and I don't want this to hurt my rating. Hard to believe that wasn't a laugh track. Fellow lawmakers are actually laughing during this without a two drink minimum, we're told. Today, Idaho's state dinosaur is the Arictodromius, thanks to a group of fourth graders, but no thanks to Skog's skewer and his no vote last session. Representative Skog was so encouraged by that performance, he took his one liner lingo to a smaller room. The House State Affairs Committee yesterday introduced a new and improved bill about punishing a person caught with less than three ounces of pot. It sits there a while, and then somebody comes to me and says, well, this is a change. So we smoked out the problem that we had in the bill, thanks to the Prosecutors Association, and they're bringing it to us. I checked with my assistant, Mary Jane. She says it's fine. She likes it a lot, the intern. And so with that problem weeded out, I'm going to ask you to re-RS this one. Obviously a tougher crowd in the committee room there, which is why we had to add the laugh track and the music to it. Well, it is now known as House Bill 606. Nope. Not 420. It does say, though, anyone convicted of having less than three ounces of marijuana will receive a mandatory minimum fine of, get this, $420. House Bill 606 was officially printed and referred, referred to the Judiciary Rules and Administration Committee, where Skog hopes it will get the do pass on the left hand side recommendation. 